You know what time it is? It's clear file time. Oh, look at their cheeks. Look at their little cheeks. <laughs> their cheeks are so full. Let's put this on. Toki DCC has released its 20th anniversary merchandise and naturally I did a little bit of shopping. So today I'm going to share with you what I bought. Oh wait, wrong bag. There we go. <laughs> Hey Fox Sports, my name is Chris aka TDR Explorer and I help you plan the perfect trip to Asia and its theme parks. Tokyo Disney Sea is celebrating its 20th anniversary. I can't believe this park has been around for 20 years. Ugh, such a magnificent park. Anyway, I couldn't get a ticket to go into the park today because tickets are still notoriously difficult to buy. So to make myself feel better, I did a little bit of retail therapy. I went over to Bon Voyage and bought myself some of the 20th anniversary merchandise. I have pictures of all the merchandise up on our website at tdrexplorer.com. I'll put a link in the description for you so you can go and check that out. It has prices and all that for you. All right, enough talking. Let's get on with the merchandise haul. I talk way too much. Stick around until the end and I'll tell you my grand total of what I spent on all this merchandise. <laughs> they went all out with the pin this, this anniversary. Now, usually they have the pins that are a little bit smaller. This is a really big pin. You can see that here and it's, has the 20th anniversary logo, which is time to shine. That's the their slogan for this anniversary. And there's a little, you can see the little star down there. And this is 2000 yen. So it's about 18 US dollars and it has the two pin, the two pin backs on here. So this is a really, really big pin that what they normally do, which I really love. I love this design that they went with, uh, with the, like the gold and the blue and the white. I think it just it, it just really works. And I got some other items as well. I got this magnet. Look at that. Look at that magnet. I love magnets because I can put it on my fridge. It doesn't take up a lot of space. But you can see all the characters in here in their 20th anniversary outfits. And I just think that is adorable. Especially, especially Chippendale on there. And then on the back as well, they have the logo for the 20th anniversary. Like, you didn't have to put this on the back, but they decided to do it anyway. I also had to get this, uh, they call them can badges, but it's a button. Uh, in Japan, they call them can badges. So it's like a, it's a tin badge, right? With the, the logo of the 20th anniversary on here. And this is 600 yen. I just look at that design. Look at it. Ugh. So good. When it comes to anniversary merchandise, I usually have the specific items that I always get. So I have the, the buttons that I showed you here. I always get a pin for the anniversaries. Now they do pins for the different events throughout the year, but I don't particularly get the pins for those just because I'm not really a pin collector, but I am when it comes to anniversaries. Another thing that I always get are the drawstring bags. Look at that. I love these because they are so useful, especially for putting stuff in your bag. You can put batteries in here, cables, and it is just very useful. Now, typically this is used for, to my knowledge anyway, um, when kids go to school, kids will have these little bags and they'll be tied to the side of their backpacks. So if you've seen pictures of the, the backpacks that uh, Japanese school children carry, you'll sometimes see these little drawstring bags attached with oh, stuff in it. But it has a logo or a, logo, a design on both sides here. So you're gonna see this design kind of repeated throughout everything, but it's just really well done. Very vibrant, very colorful, just very, Tokyo Disney esque. Now, what I love about this one, this is 900 yen, by the way. They have the little, let's go focus, perfect. They have the 20th anniversary logo. This is plastic. Uh, uh, <laughs> I just love this so much. Now, another thing that I always get with anniversaries <laughs> are these leisure sheets uh, or a personal picnic sheet if you want to have some point of reference but they're called leisure sheets in japan now these are to sit on the ground when you're waiting for a parade or a show so you're not sitting directly on the ground so those of you that have been to tokyo disney resort before would have noticed that 
when people are waiting for the parades and shows. So this is what those are for. To wait. Sit there and wait. And why not make it adorable? So it comes in its own little carrying case. And I'm gonna, this is 750 yen. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna pull the full thing out because it's kind of a pain to put back in. How does this open? Ah, it opens by the top. So, yeah, little, little carrying case here. And the leisure sheet just pulls right out. You know what? Let's just let's just fold it. Let's just unfold it. <laughs> so you can get an idea of just how big it is. Um, what does it say? Does it say on here the measurements? Uh, probably says on the front. Uh, 60 centimeters by 90 centimeters. So it, it'll fit like it'll fit one person and two of your duffies. Here we go. A little hard, a little hard with the lighting because everything's so shiny, but you get the idea. Again, the 20th anniversary logo. You know, I'm a complete liar. This is easy to fold. <laughs> I think it's harder once it's been used a little bit and the creases aren't there anymore. Next up, we have this postcard set. I always get a postcard. This is 600 yen for the two. I'm not sure why it's displayed this way, but whatever. I really, I'm a big fan of postcards. And again, we have the, the two designs here for the 20th anniversary. And then on the back, a little hard to see. There we go. You can see the design on here on the back. Now, the fun thing with postcards at Tokyo Disney, when you send them from the park, you can send them internationally. Um, I think it's about a dollar of 100 yen. It kind of depends on where you're sending it. When you send it from the resort, because they have post boxes everywhere, they'll put a special stamp, a commemorative stamp. It's a red stamp that goes in the middle. They usually put it right in the middle of the postcard and it changes every month. And it's different for Disney Sea and Disneyland. And like I said, with the stamps, you can buy them in the park. So it's a really good way to send a really quick postcard to someone and make it really special and again you can send it anywhere in the world this is a really quick aside but i do have this postcard book that i bought from tokyo disney and they have it so you can put your postcards in here so this is how i store all my postcards i just like storing them all in one little spot and i can go back in here and reminisce and i don't know it's just a really fun way to organize it you know what time it is it's clear file time. I love clear files. You all know that. One of you explorers even made a meme about me with clear files. <laughs> it's, I love a good clear file. Now I've been asked like, Chris, what do you use the clear files for? What don't you use them for? I use them for documents. Um, Japan loves its paperwork. So when I have to go to city hall or if I need to do like my, um, visa renewal or if i have to you know if i'm going to the doctor or something like that i put my documents in this clear folder because you're just gonna have so many documents and again why don't you make it cute make it adorable make it pleasant to look at it doesn't need to be boring and this is a set of how many are in here it's, it's 2400 yen this is one two three four five six seven eight there's eight in here 2400 yen so there's one here with, again, we've seen this dis, uh, design. And on the back of this, it, on the back of it, they have this, um, I don't know, is this their mantra for the 20th anniversary? I'm not sure. Here, let's just read it off really quick. The 20th anniversary celebration at Tokyo Disney Sea will turn your heart and smiles into sparkling stars. The joy of laughing with friends, the happiness of being with your dear ones, the excitement of new adventures, the desire for a delightful meal, the heart-touching beauty of the scenery, the belief that dreams and wishes will come true, and the hopes for a bright future. This is the year for these overflowing feelings to shine. Let your heart shine bright. <laughs> that was very long. Well, that's nice. So yeah. Um, now they have all the different characters on them. So we have Mickey here. And on the back of them, they're all the same. 
So they have the, the 20th anniversary uh, design on here. So we have Mickey, we have Minnie in her really gorgeous outfit, very sparkling, very fetching. <laughs> we have Donald here. And next will be Daisy. So we got Goofy. And my boys, Chip and Dale. Oh, oh look at their cheeks. Look at their little cheeks. <laughs> their cheeks are so full. Full of, I don't know, their, sh their cheeks are glowing. We won't question it. <laughs> and we have Pluto. We got Pluto here. I love, I love clear files. I have so many clear files, it's ridiculous. I have a bookshelf full of clear files, but I, I, I use these. Another good thing that I usually use these for is when I'm like traveling around and stuff, I'll have um, plane tickets, I'll have ticket stubs, I'll have receipts and things of that nature. And what I do is I kind of bundle them together by year and then I put them in a clear folder and I put the clear, like I pick a clear folder that kind of represents that year. And I don't know, I just, it, it's, again, it's just a really nice way to organize things. Got myself a t-shirt, got myself a fun t-shirt. Look at this fun design on it. <laughs> I have my boys on it. Look at that. Look at it. Look at, look at them. Adorable. Now I got the large size for this one. Now, typically for t-shirt sizes in Japan, and this is just a general rule of thumb, is you want to go one size up than what you normally are. So for myself, I'm a medium in Canada and the US, but here in Japan, I'm typically a large. Sometimes I'm a LL, which is a 2XL. It just depends on the shirt. And Tokyo Disney, usually I'm a large. You just kind of have to, it's almost like a guessing game a little bit. They do have sample ones that aren't in bags that you can check in the store. You don't typically put them on in the store, but they'll have samples out that you can check to kind of see if it's, if you think it's gonna fit you or not. Now this one is 2,900 yen and there's also kid sizes as well. Let's put this on. Wrong park. I have way too many t-shirts. Oh, come on. There we go. Got the right t-shirt finally. Look at that. Uh, I love the pastel colors on it. It's just nice and soft in terms of the colors, but also it feels soft too. This is nice. I'm a big fan of this. Remember that big shopping bag that I showed you at the beginning of the video? Well, this is the smaller size. Yeah, this is the smaller one. This is 920 yen and it's a big, like, kind of a thick plastic bag. And it's obviously it's reusable. There's a bigger one that's 1300 yen. Yeah, bigger than this one. The difference between them though, uh, this smaller one has a, the gold trim and the big one has a, a blue trim. But we have the design on here. Again, the, the design we've seen on pretty much everything. Now for this, you have to ask for this at the register. They have them behind the register. So make sure you just ask for the bag. The cast members will ask you if you need a bag because they charge for plastic bags now. So when they ask you, just tell them that you want one of these. I love getting these for the big, again, big anniversaries. Um, they're just really nice. They're, they're always just really gorgeous bags. And on the top is, it zips up as well. And you can open up. And it fits quite a bit, quite a bit of merchandise. So this is perfect if you have, let's say, a bunch of plush or like lighter items that don't necessarily need to go in your checked bag. You can use this as a carry-on. Maybe this one should be fine. The bigger one, I'm not sure. You have to check with your airlines, but I know people have used the, the I'm pretty sure people have used the, the smaller ones as uh, carry-ons before because this is not, this is not too bad. You can kind of compress it too if you really, really needed to. These bags, so worth it, so worth it. There's always so many different plushes. Uh, this is 2100 yen, so this is Mickey in his, of course, 20th anniversary outfit. You have the little hat here. 
and the back. The backs always have these pins so you can pin it to your bag because this, do not rely on this, okay? I have lost these plush before because I trusted this too much. Don't do it. Do not trust this. Okay, use this. Think of this as insurance <laughs> for your 2100 yen investment. But they always make these so nicely detailed and you can see on the shoes here, 20th anniversary. <sighs> but, sorry Mickey, I, I adore you, but my heart, my heart belongs to my boys, Chip and Dale. <laughs> And these two come as a set. You can tell by the, <laughs> the plastic that is bonding them together. This is 3,300 yen, so it is a little more expensive. You know what? I've picked the most expensive characters because they usually come as a set and it's more expensive than everything else. Anyway, 20th anniversary outfits and Again, they have the little pin backs on them. <laughs> little tails, look at the cute little tails. Oh, and that little bow ties. Come on, how could you not? And it's uh, the tags on here, 20th anniversary. I always have to get Chippendale with the anniversary events now. I stopped collecting them after every event, they would usually have these coming out with every seasonal event. That got to be a bit much. I don't need that many Chippendales. So I've decided I'll only get them for the major anniversaries. So the last ones I got were for the 35th anniversary of the resort. So this is the 20th anniversary of Disney Sea. I have the 30th anniversary of Tokyo Disneyland. These are from the 30th anniversary. Uh, this is when I first moved to Japan. So this is back in 2013. That was the happiness here. Mm, so many fond memories with these. I, uh, I just love them. I do. I really do. I have to say, Tokyo Disney Resort did it first with the Mickey-shaped hand soap. And now I know it's available pretty much at every other Disney park now, even in the US. It's at Hong Kong Disneyland, Shanghai Disneyland. I don't know if it's in Paris. It might be in Paris. I'm not sure. But I do know it's at the, the U.S. parks now. And Tokyo Disney released another version of it, but this time it's bigger. So this is 600 milliliters and has the 20th anniversary logo on it. And of course, it has the, the iconic pump on the top there. And yeah, just a really nicely designed box. This is 2300 yen. And that's instructions on the back. Now for point of reference, this is the the former model. So this is from the 35th anniversary. So this is 250 milliliters. So this one's more than double. The grand total of everything that I bought came to 16,770 yen, which is about 153 US dollars. That's how much I spent on this anniversary merchandise. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't go into the park today, so that was my retail therapy. What do you think of the design of the 20th anniversary here at Tokyo Disney Sea? Let me know in the comments below with the keyword shine, and I'll put more videos up here for you so you can check out more merchandise here at Tokyo Disney Resort. Now we need to find a place for all this stuff. All right, explorers, until next time.